Hello, my friends. Happy Monday to all of you. As millions of Americans continue to face financial struggles, President Biden has finally decided to meet with the Federal Reserve Chairman to discuss a new action plan. They are now trying to send out more financial aid to Americans as soon as possible. This could be in the form of gas rebate checks. Friends, do watch until the end of the video for all of the details. I will also be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week if you would like to enter the giveaways. Please make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Friends, remember the more often you comment below a keyword on a video, the greater your chance of winning the giveaway. Please stay tuned because at the end of this video, I will be announcing the winner of today's giveaway. Uh, and we don't have to do it too much because it gets framed to us uh, every weekend. I come from West Virginia. We drive everywhere. We drive to school. We drive to work. We drive to the grocery store. We drive to church. We drive to see our families. We drive to see our friends. I mean, we are rural America where cars are the only way to get to the places that you need to be. And so I think what, what people want to hear is i get it that you understand that gas has gone up uh in west virginia today i think it was four four dollars and 34 cents uh it's now uh, nationally four dollars and 56 cents up uh they want to see somebody take responsibility and the president is the one who said when he was first elected i'll take responsibility instead of blaming others and honestly all he's done in this instance something that hits everybody every day in their pocketbook is blame everybody else he blames vladimir putin he blames covid he blames even american businesses and uh if you just even look and try to deflect his his reasoning on who he blames you can see that the prices were escalating well before Vladimir Putin ever invaded. President Biden will meet with Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell on Tuesday to discuss the national economy amid high inflation, which has hurt President Biden's job approval rating. According to Bloomberg, it is a first meeting between Biden and Powell since November of 2021. A schedule released by the White House said that they will discuss the state of the American and global economy. The meeting comes while the United States continues to struggle with rising prices in many sectors of the economy. The price of oil has risen to its highest level in two months since President Biden announced in late March that he would tap into the Strategic Petroleum Reserve to release 1 million barrels of oil a day for six months. The Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index, which is a federal monitored inflation gauge, rose by 6.3% over the previous year, which ended in April. It is down slightly from the 6.6% annual inflation rate that was reported in March. The Fed has promised to raise interest rates aggressively to keep inflation in check. Fed board members discussed the possibility of raising the federal funds rate by 50 basis points several more times and moving beyond a neutral monetary stance to a restrictive one. The aggressive stance taken by the central bank in recent months has put downward pressure on stocks. Republicans have repeatedly bashed President Biden for rising prices, blaming his fiscal policy and the passage of the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan for contributing to inflation. Democratic lawmakers have responded by arguing inflation is driven by supply chain breakdowns, which were related to the crisis and the drop in oil and wheat supplies. Fed Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell told lawmakers in March that the Fed should have acted sooner to contain inflation. According to the White House, during the meeting, President Biden will also discuss the state of the American and global economy and discuss the president's top economic priority, which is addressing inflation to transition from a historic economic recovery to stable steady growth that works for working families. Friends, how do you think that our government should handle inflation and what can they do to lower the prices in every sector? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Gas prices at the gas pumps are still really high 
and the state has yet to send out gas rebate checks. Now, friends, I know many of you are wondering, when will rebate checks arrive in Californians' wallets? Political wrangling between Governor Gavin Newsom and state legislators have delayed delivering relief to drivers. The governor had hoped to start sending out checks in July, but now Californians will likely not receive gas rebate checks until after summer. Back in March of this year, Governor Newsom said, We're taking immediate action to get money directly into the pockets of Californians who are facing higher gas prices as a direct result of this crisis. So now, Newsom says that rebate checks are still months away. California's pumps are currently the priciest in the nation, averaging nearly $6 per gallon. According to AAA, gas prices are anticipated to soar even higher this coming summer. State lawmakers are still debating how the gas rebate checks will be delivered and who will receive them. The governor proposed an $11 billion relief package. Registered vehicle owners would be eligible for $400 per vehicle capped at $800 for two vehicles, totaling $9 billion in direct payments to millions of Californians. Governor Newsom's plan also includes a public transit grant that would allow transit agencies to provide free rides for at least three months. State legislative leaders pitched a different plan. Their plan would funnel $8 billion through the Franchise Tax Board. Taxpayers who earn annual salaries of $125,000 or less would receive $200 and an additional $200 for each child or dependent. California has $68 billion in available general fund resources. But friends, according to state officials, a clearer picture of the state's gas rebate check timeline will surface in Governor Newsom's revised state budget, which is slated to be released this coming week then the state budget will be finalized in June. Well, my fantastic friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me here today. I truly and greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos daily. The two winners of this week's Walmart gift card giveaway are Brian Amuro and Vivon Henry. Congratulations to both of you. Friends, if I have announced you as the winner, please check your notifications page and send me an email. Or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page. Remember everyone, there will be many more chances of winning the giveaways. All you have to do, friends, is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Sunday.